So yesterday, my continuous uh, light strip arrived in the mail. I've been waiting for it for about a couple of weeks. Um, basically, what I wanted to do with this was to look at it, look at the magnet under the ferrocell under continuous lighting, because um, I suspect that it's going to look more like this than with the discontinuous lights, than with the uh, separate LEDs. And so I made a little video, which is right here. Let's just have a look. So I've got the continuous lights hidden behind a little couple of black rings, and lo and behold, looky, looky. Um, the ferro cell that I'm using is one that I got from Ken Wheeler. It's the best one I have so far. I've made my own, and they're pretty good, but this is the best one. And so what I'm doing is I'm investigating the field um, using his ferro cell. And I think it looks an awful lot like that black hole image, especially when you look at it at, at different angles, because obviously we're not looking at the actual quote unquote black hole um, on, you know, straight on. And so as you see, as I tilt the ferrocell around, you get the, the different shapes, but it looks an awful lot like, like a lot like that black hole image including some of the streaking that happens out here, including the sort of blobby. Let's have a look at that again. All right. It just looks an awful lot like this image of the so-called black hole, um, the magneto dielectric object, the plasma torus ring, the counter spatial sink, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. We're looking at, I believe, in my humble opinion, um, this a similar um, laws of physics. Whatever is making these two images, these two figures, they're not photographs. Well, the one on the right is photograph, the one on the left is obviously not a photograph but it is a rendering, it is a depiction, it is a picture or depiction of something um, that we call a black hole, that some people call a black hole. Other people have other names for it. Uh, I'm not going to stop calling it a black hole because people don't like the term black hole. Uh, I kind of like the term, it's cute. So. That's about it. I just wanted to show you my little experiment. With the continuous lighting, you don't get the hypertrochoid pattern. I didn't expect to because why would there be um, discontinuities in the light when you have continuous light, when you have continuous lighting? So I didn't expect to see the hypertrochoid pattern in here because we have continuous lighting but I was hoping it would look an awful lot like this. And you know, it does, it does. In my opinion, it looks very much like this image. So that's about it. I uh, hope you're having a good day and um, I'm working on another, another video uh, having to do with Charles Proteus Steinmetz and hopefully I can get that out um, before the end of the weekend. Thanks a lot, have a good day.